I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, I'm getting a behind-the-scenes tour of the Ohio Theater. Oh, wow. I think these are really cool. <laughs> they're huge. And I don't know if there's other theaters in the area that still have these. No, there are none. Yeah. They're the old carbon arc projectors that the Ohio Theater used to use back in the 20s. And what are these reels of? Are they... It's a, a collective. I think a lot this is of Charlie Chaplin. Oh, there you go. I'm hanging out with Marky Miller. She's the theater manager of the Ohio Theater. And Jim Hill. He's a chair of the Ohio Theater Event Center Committee. Now, that's a subcommittee of United North. And United North is a nonprofit community development corporation that currently owns the theater. We'll get to them in just a minute, but first we should find out how this theater that opened in 1921 got into the hands of United North. Because this really was a movie house, a neighborhood movie house. Yeah. There was nothing ever other than that. Yeah. Uh, and there were all, it was a family-owned space. And there was a family that owned the space for th- almost 30 years. Uh, they sold, and as they were trying to sell out, on the other side of town, or in the middle of town, uh, a local company bought the, the theater in the other neighborhood and said, we're going to make this a porn th- shop. Well, the ch- people in the church in this community here said, we aren't going to have our, a porn shop in our own backyard. So they bought the theater. They had the church diocese buy the theater. So the church bought the space in 1974 and then sold the theater for a dollar to United North in 2009. Now this particular community development group thought they could use the space to, well, develop the community. And that's because they had seen it done before. If you go over to Cleveland and you go to West Cleveland, there's a, th- there's a theater there called the Capitol Theater, and it is part of a rejuvenated community. It's pretty amazing what has happened there. They fixed up this old theater, and uh, it has proven to be very successful. That community 20 years ago was as bad a shape as uh, the North End has ever been. In a period of 20 to 25 years, it is now a thriving young community. It's what it really is. I mean, there's lots of old houses there. As there are in this neighborhood, there's some beautiful houses. That is community development. Uh, So we saw that happening in Cleveland. We said, well, let's apply those principles here and see if we can make it happen here. So the Ohio Theater shares different kinds of events. They have film events, uh, plays and musicals, and also fundraising events. Because seeing how one community revives their neighborhood and trying to implement that in your own community are two very different things. Marky and Jim were both aware of those challenges, but they seem almost frustrated at how slow the process is going. We have yet to really come out of the red. Last year, we were really close, close to getting out of the red and getting into the black. This year looked like it might be a year we pull through. And then, of course, there's another little problem here, a little problem there. Gas leaks and having to fix gas lines and that sort of stuff. There's always something that goes wrong, which affects the bottom line. Mm -hmm. We have to be solvent before we can really say to the community, Uh, we're worth saving. You just can't have a theater. Everybody wants to come. It doesn't work that way. Marky, who just became the theater manager in December, is keeping a positive outlook on the possibilities for the future. We've had a successful year, I think. And I think we've seen a lot of potential and that if we can get more people out here and really show them the value, that we can be a little more self-sustaining and keep it running. So I think just trying to get people out to the space so that they know that it's here. The challenges of the job don't seem to bother Marky at all. In fact, she seems almost energized that she gets to try her hand at fixing the puzzle that is the Ohio Theater. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I didn't want to be bored where I do the same thing every single day. You know, I never have the same day. Another really awesome thing is that we are entirely staffed with volunteers. Every event I get to work with new people, and you know, once in a while you get a couple people that just love it and they start coming to every single event and they start volunteering and they get to do um, different jobs every time they're here and they get to watch the shows and it's just uh, you know it's it just becomes really fun when you get to work with people who are here because they want to be here you know because they want to help whether it's to help the theater or help the particular show that's being put on so you know they, they come here and they're really passionate so they're always fun to work with. Although Marky is enjoying the ins and outs of the job, her main concern is the people outside of the theater, the community surrounding its brick walls. I 
I just think this space is so unique and I, l I do like that it's kind of embedded in a community and I hope people see the value of what it was as being a community space for entertainment, you know, and so it was accessible. So if, if we can make more, more forms of art entertainment more accessible to people, um, you know, that would be one of the, one of the things I'd, I'd want to see as part of our mission. Uh, so I'd like us to get to that point where we can find out what the community wants. You know, what do people who live back here want to see what's, what's going to be appealing to them and, and maybe fit a need that they have. So if we could do our own programming and at least get the neighboring community more involved, that would be a great first step, I think, to then also bringing in more people from all around the Toledo area. I'm Haley Taylor, and thanks for listening to this episode of The Rough Draft Diaries.